G'day followers, welcome back. And today we're doing something a little bit different. Uh, we had a question online about, can you glue holds on to say a concrete wall or a brick wall to make like your own home climbing wall? And yeah, you can. And that is in fact how like back in the eighties, the very first artificial climbing walls were made. Well, those that didn't just involve chipping holds into a, into a cliff. So yes, it is possible. But then the obvious question is if you glue, say one of these holds onto a wall, how strong is it going to be? Is it safe to, you know, put your kids on or whatever? So I've just got a bunch of different sort of rocky things. I'm going to glue them on to this concrete slab right here. And hopefully we'll get a bit of an answer. And now this kind of thing also does happen sometimes if on a, say, sport climb, if an important hold breaks off, you've got to glue it back on. So how long is that going to last? All that kind of thing. So we're going to try and shed some light on that today. Let's see how it goes. And the glue I'm going to be using is this stuff here. So this is an anchoring epoxy. Epoxy because the other styles of anchoring adhesive, vinyl esters, polyesters, they're not really sticky. Epoxies are sticky. These guys are like super glue. They're very adhesive as well as being very strong. You can probably use some like other epoxy pastes as well, you know, like JB Weld or something like that. Uh, but this is what I have. It's what I use for installing glue in bolts. But also because this one is designed for masonry, um, I think it's it's going to be probably better because it'll you know it's going to be sticking to the concrete. But also if other things like water absorption and just general weathering, if it's going to be outside, this is going to be able to handle it. Whereas some other epoxy might not be. So the surface of so this thing has been brushed and washed and left to dry. And then here are our holds that I'm going to try gluing on. The basalt pavers, these are really nice. So that's definitely the kind of thing that I think you would be able to glue onto a wall and use as a hold. But I've got some smaller pieces, a little bit of concrete and a couple of just stones. So let's glue them on and see how they look. Okay, solid red now. I don't know how much we need, but just going to make sure it's covered. Nice. This, I think this is sandstone or something. Oh yeah, look at that. And this, I think this is quartzite. It's polished pretty smooth. I don't know how well it'll stick to that. <laughs> okay, so it's the next day. These are all hardened. They're all good to go on there. So the ram is going to sit, sit on there like that. So this just needs to be minimum here. Three twenty-five. Pop. Oh, oh no. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Five kilonewtons in. I ripped the bloody bracket off. Don't know what I'm gonna do now. Okay, so the bracket has been glued on much closer. I'm gonna have to spin it around soon, but hopefully that is not gonna break off. Okay. Okay, and so as usual with epoxy, it has actually taken the concrete with it. So the concrete is the weakest thing in this equation. Next up is a sandstone. So maybe that one will be a little different. Yeah, we crock. So to get this off, you got to chisel it off. Yeah. Okay, so concrete next. This is 55 MPA concrete. Okay. 
Ah, ah, okay. Broke the concrete again. Broke the concrete. Not that strong. Oh, okay. Just concrete breakage. Ooh, 70. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh, okay. So this is... I don't know how I'm going to get that off. You know what? I reckon I'll just leave it. All right, well, there you go, guys. Very interesting stuff as usual. So I have not actually analyzed all the data yet. Hopefully I just did a nice little voiceover thing with graphs and, you know, whatever. But what I can tell you from doing this this evening right now, obviously bigger rock, gonna be stronger. Stronger rock gonna be stronger where is it so this is quartzite very hard stuff i thought the fact that this was water polished and kind of glassy meant the epoxy wouldn't really stick to it but sure as hell did it was stronger or well, stronger than the end of this and it was stronger than the concrete surface there softer rock is going to break before the epoxy so that one's concrete and then of course the sandstone so you can get pretty good bonds but with all of this sort of stuff if you've got like a good hard igneous rock like this basalt or you've got granite or something like that um, basically that's going to be the hardest the strongest and then the epoxy and then the concrete if you're sticking it to a concrete wall so this red epoxy typically has a compressive strength of around 120 mpa something like that so that's up there with the very hardest kind of rocks like granite and things like that and if i just disassemble this um, taking a look under here so this this tortured piece of um, curb here, I've actually used it for a lot of just random stuff. You can see I've got all these bolts glued in and things here. But this surface here that I was gluing onto, this is actually the bottom of the curb. So there's kind of bits of dirt and stuff actually kind of in it. So I had to use this because this was the last remaining surface on this thing that had enough room. Um, but I think that has actually weakened this, this part of the concrete a little bit because it's a bit porous and it's got some stuff in it so if you're gluing onto a concrete wall you'll probably have a better surface than that it'll probably be a little bit stronger oh and this is a 10 centimeter square so if that helps you work out the kind of size it's 10 by 10 so um if you if that helps you work out the kind of surface area you're working with there you go so anyway brothers hopefully that's been uh, at least a little informative for you um it sure is interesting to do this kind of stuff when i get the chance so you know it's been a pretty cool little experiment as usual it didn't go to plan nothing does but i am always impressed with how bloody strong these epoxies are these anchoring epoxies anyway thanks for watching and i'll scratch you later